Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about fistal and non-fistal ciphers. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about different components in the modern block cipher. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, non-fistal ciphers. First, we are going to understand non-fistal ciphers. Non-fistal ciphers uses only invertible components. In our last class discussions, uh, S box you can do invertible and non invertible. P box invertible and non invertible. So, if you are going to use only invertible components, then those type of modern block ciphers we call it as non fistal ciphers, modern block ciphers. So, in, in, in our coming classes, when we discuss about uh, AES advanced encryption standard it is going to use non fistal ciphers means only it is going to use the components that is uh, that are invertible components it is very very easy if you are if the component is invertible during the encryption you go few steps uh, during the decryption you are going to do the exact opposite steps to get the plain text so, how we are going to provide confusion and diffusion discussed in our previous classes. So, this is what non-fistal ciphers means. Coming to the fistal ciphers, fistal ciphers uses both the invertible and non-invertible components. So, here it is the difficulty you need to understand. The immediately, whenever you listen to this point, the first question you will get in your mind is, how non-invertible components are converted during the decryption. That is the point we need to understand in fistal ciphers. In our coming classes, when we discuss about DES data encryption standard, we are going to use fistal ciphers. So, in this class, we are going to understand, give a good idea about how fistal ciphers work, what is the logic it is going to use, in our next class, we will go deep into the concept and in our coming classes, when we discuss DES with good example, you will get full clarity about Fistal Cipher. All these are continuation classes. So, here we are going to use non-invertible components. So, using non-invertible components, how you are going to get the plain text back? Here we are going to use the concept of exclusive R. The properties of exclusive R which we discussed in our previous classes using one of the property. So, we are going to use non-invertible components in our fistal ciphers. How it works? Let us try to understand with an example. So, P is the plain text and this is the this is the logic which we are going to use here. It is very simple logic, but in our DES we, are go we will go with much more complex example, complex logic. So, what is this logic here is, uh, you have to understand this properly. f of k comma p1 is the f is a function. Here it is mentioning it as function. You go with s box, you go with p box, whatever the logic you needed. Means instead of this function, you can apply any of this. And this function is going to use k, k means key, k comma p1, here p1 means you can go with the plain text, means you can use plain text or you can use part of the plain text or you can use some constant value, whatever the logic you needed, you can design your own logic. This f of k comma p1 is a non-invertible component. This function is generating a value which is non-invertible. Okay, this f of k comma p1 is generating a value. Assume that our value is x. So what's happening here? Plain text exclusive or with x. X is a x is a value which from where we got that value f of k comma p1 after applying this function you got x value it is exclusive or with p you are going to get cipher text this is the logic which we are going to use in encryption so the point you need to understand if you are going with decryption what happens cipher text comes here this is the source mobile this is the destination mobile cipher text comes here 
this cipher text moves on to here here also here we are providing again cipher text exclusive or with again f of k comma p1 what happens if you apply f of k comma p1 you are going to get a value of x so cipher text exclusive or x you are going to get plain text again so why we are getting plain text again because f of k comma p1 is generating a decrypt non invertible component how that is getting cancelled here we are not this non invertible component cannot be redo again we are cancelling that non invertible component how we are getting cancellation let's try to understand because of this exclusive or operation our non invertibility getting get cancelled see how let's try to understand f of k comma sorry here p1 non invertible during the encryption what we are going to do c is equal to c means cipher text is equal to plain text exclusive or f of k comma p1 f of k comma p1 means x value so p exclusive or x you got cipher text this cipher text is sent to the destination mobile so in the destination mobile you are having cipher text this cipher text exclusive or again it is going to do f of k comma p1 here exclusive or with the cipher text so so here in the decryption you need to get plain text plain text is equal to cipher text exclusive or f of k comma p1 at the end we are going to discuss one important point based on that point our next class will be so watch till the end c cipher text exclusive or f of k comma p1 so in place of cipher text what is meant by cipher text p exclusive or f of k comma p1 so in place of cipher text if you substitute p exclusive or f of k comma p p1 exclusive or f of k comma p1 in our previous classes when we discussed about xor operation properties these two are same x exclusive or x you are going to get zeros all zeros see here these two get cancelled and remained with p so p exclusive or all zeros you are going to get p because this is the identity element in xor operation so based on the concept of exclusive or non invertible components are able to used in our cryptography algorithm algorithms in des we are going to use this type of non invertible components and one important point you need to understand here see here k means key value p means you can go with plain text or you can go with part of the plain text or you can go with some constant value so during the encryption you can generate that constant value or you can use some part of the plain text and you are doing a f of k comma p1 and getting x value and cipher text is moving towards the destination but uh, here we need the p1 value how you are going to get that p1 value in the destination mobile keys are going to be exchanged between the source and the destination before the algorithm starts but this p value is not getting exchanged without that p1 value how it is going to generate f of k comma p1 means how it is generating x value means p should also be exchanged how it is going to be exchanged what value can be considered along with the message we are going to exchange the p value how we how not p value p1 value here how we are going to do that this point we are going to understand without its p1 value you cannot use this fistal ciphers how this is done we are going to discuss in our next class hope you understand the point uh, what's needed here if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you